I've had to remove every single social tie. I had severe PTSD from this. I, I contemplated suicide. It got really bad. You feel like any little piece of information that gets out on you will be used by the worst people on the internet to destroy your life. What's going on everyone, it's Nina Infinity and today I'll be sharing my thoughts on journalist Taylor Lorenz calling out MSNBC for their online harassment segment. Please slap the like, share the video, and subscribe. There was a time when being a journalist was a respected career choice. Those days are long gone and today, whether you're on the right or the left, you might be thinking that you're somehow being lied to by the legacy media. Now more than ever, people are over legacy media and journalists who have a reputation for doing any story for clicks and destroying people's lives in the process. That's the case with journalist Taylor Lorenz, a tech columnist for the Washington Post who has a colorful history of shady journalistic practices. She has previously worked for the New York Times and was sued for defamation by TikTok agent Ariadna Jacob, who claims that Lorenz did a defamatory hit piece on her full of lies. Jacob has said, After the New York Times article, I was radioactive in my industry. People believe Taylor's lies that I stole from clients, leaked revenge porn, filmed young people without consent, and pretended to be friends with social media god Gary Vaynerchuk, someone who's actually been a close friend and advocate of mine for over 10 years. I spent every last penny. It was overnight. I went from all these people I invested in for months and much longer, and now being told they should not work with me in Hollywood. The New York Post also points out court papers also detailed how Jacob sought out mental health treatment and experienced suicidal thoughts following the article's publication. She also left California and relocated to Las Vegas in order to seek new career and business ventures, the suit said. There was also the time where she outed famous Instagram stars Claudia and Jackie Oshry's mom Pamela Geller which some people theorize was the reason their viral podcast, The Morning Breath, was canceled by media company Oath. Now Taylor Lorenz is once again making headlines for going to on MSNBC and talking once again about the fact that she has been facing online harassment for years and claiming to have PTSD and contemplating suicide as a result of such intense online harassments. This is not the first time Lorenz has claimed such things. In 2021, Tucker Carlson highlighted her since then deleted tweet where she stated, For International Women's Day, please consider supporting women enduring online harassment. It's not an exaggeration to say that the harassment and smear campaign I've had to endure over the past year has destroyed my life. No one should have to go through this. Here's what she had to say on MSNBC. Hey, nice job on that story, you soulless effing c These are Taylor Lorenz's loved ones. They'll, they'll threaten children. You feel like any little piece of information that gets out on you will be used by the worst people on the internet to destroy your life. It's horrifying. I'm so sorry. It's really hard. After the interview, she went on to Twitter and began a thread where she wrote, no need to tell me to keep my head up or stay strong. When it comes to online attacks, I'm great. I'm thriving. I don't give a shit how many people tell me to die on Twitter. If I care about that, I wouldn't cover YouTubers for a living. Hmm, that's a weird thing to write after going on national TV and crying about how you felt suicidal and experienced PTSD. So, do you care or don't you care about what people write online? She went on to say, I call out right-wing smear campaigns because the media constantly fails both the public and their staff when covering and reaching these things. I don't think it's accurate to even call it online harassment because it's far more insidious than that. I want the media to do better. Here's a piece that lists a few things media cuz can to start with. And I'm grateful to work at a place that's been supportive. But let's start calling these campaigns what they are and stop botching coverage of these attacks by playing both sides. 
Unlike the people who sit and whine about me online, I've reported on brutal violent events in real life while covering right-wing extremism. I've been physically assaulted on the job. I'm not a wallflower. I call this stuff out because the media keeps getting it wrong. Instead of using me for clickbait, NBC News needs to educate their journalists on how to cover these types of campaigns. Their segment lacks crucial context and only serves to fuel the right-wing smear campaign I've been dealing with for a year. The media must do better! <laughs> so she's calling out the media, which she's part of, and does the exact same thing all the time and then tells them to do better. Okay, um, pot, meat kettle. She goes on, It's been a non-stop barrage of messages and articles on right-wing news sites saying this stuff. The way the media continues to give credence to the people instigating these campaigns is wrong. I'll never stop calling it out because I want the media and the public to recognize this for what it is. And she shared screenshots of the messages she's received. I think it's a really strange thing to do, considering the segment, which was extremely cringe, tried its best to paint her as a victim and did a pretty good job of spinning that narrative. Even going as far as having the female interviewer, Morgan Radford, share her own online harassment story with her to reaffirm Taylor Lorenz's story. This is after I did a report on an increase in the number of white supremacists running for office. Condescending journalists C word deserves a rope. Now Taylor is putting Radford and MSNBC on blast, claiming that she's received even worse mean tweets. So far, MSNBC has not commented on Lorenz's statements, but I can only imagine how Megan Radford is feeling and what she's thinking. Having a female journalist put you on blast like this after you bent over backwards to paint her in such a misunderstood and victimized light. My thoughts on this is that it's hard to feel sorry for Lorenz considering who she is and her work ethics. She herself has been accused of being extremely unscrupulous and in the case of Ariadna Jacob and her court filings, she is claimed to have allegedly caused this woman to seek mental health treatment and experience suicidal thoughts. Look, it's never okay to harass anyone online or in real life, and we all can be victims of hate mobs on Twitter or other places for simply sharing different opinions. That's just the way things are online, especially on Twitter. It's not okay, but it happens. Having said that, in Lorenzo's case, I have a hard time believing anything this woman has to say, and I especially don't buy her crocodile tears. I think she's actually more honest in the tweet where she says she doesn't care about the online harassment. I don't think Lorenz cares about anything other than herself and who she can use as her next gotcha. I think people can see that she's being disingenuous and the fact that she's calling out MSNBC and the media for not getting it right as well, it's hilarious. What do you think about Lorenz's statements? Do you think she's being genuine about having PTSD over mean tweets? Let me know in the comments down below and if you like the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye!